Live from Liberty, Missouri, it's Pie Crust Live, starring Kim Williams. We're going to try this again. Go ahead. Hello, everyone. As you know, from last night, we had technical difficulties. I live up in the country, so our internet is spotty at best. So we are going to once again do pie crust and how to make good pie crust so that you're not having to buy that store-bought stuff that my sister sometimes does. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> so before you start your pie crust, oh no, I forgot pop pan. I have some. Oh, oh my God. I am at my niece's house. She Jeez. opened up her house to me. I hope they're the right ones. I may have to scoff at them. I, 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 I hear glass. She stole them off. They, are they, they might pyrex? be downstairs. They're Pyrex. Okay, Pyrex. They're downstairs. Oh, they're downstairs. I don't use them often enough. <laughs> Obviously not. If your pie pans are not where you can get them in your kitchen, you are not making enough pie. And I'm not even talking pie every day. I'm just talking pie once, maybe a month or every two months. So make sure you have your pie pans. You are going to want um, Pyrex pie pans. That's the only kind I use. I don't use the metal. I don't use the. Um, <laughs> This always happens. It's gotta okay. be glass. If Before it ain't glass, this, yeah, you can kiss mine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I just want to give a shout out to my brother, who is the camera person, and you'll hear his snipe comments forever. While she goes kiss <laughs> those, I'm gonna show you. First thing I do is I use freezer paper, and this freezer paper is I don't know how many years old. It'll, it'll last a long time, and I make pies more often than obviously my niece does. Fold it in half. What you're doing is you're just forming a square. To make a circle. So you you know you fold it in half and you start doing your triangles. You all made these in school to make your circles. It doesn't have to be, oh my goodness, you can't out. find them yet. This I'm gonna be, dig them out. This could be another tragedy. No, it's not. They're here. We just made in the kitchen. They just made in the kitchen. They got this lovely um piling. Very good. Oh, oh pies even very good. Oh that she even has her names on hers. Ooh, etched. So oh, etched, very nice. Um this flat kind, this is the kind that I like to use for my um, pecan pie. It's flatter. For my fruit pies and my fluff pies, I like the thicker one. So but so I keep both of these kinds. Very good. I like to, where did you get those sketched at? I did it myself. You did it at yourself. Did. Very good. I should get that. Okay, so when I'm doing this, as I say, I have my paper. Oh, and I wash my hands. And I've already washed mine. I'll do it again in just a minute. Um, on this paper, you'll have your wax side and your paper side. So if you're not quite sure how big to make your pie crust, just lay one of your pans there, get a marker on the paper side, you don't want on the wax side, and just come out a little bit around it, and it doesn't have to be a perfect circle. That'll just kind of... Thank goodness. Thank heavens it doesn't, because that is bad. So that just gives you a general idea how big you're going to make your pie crust. Okay. Usually, I do that, make sure my hands are washed, just because, to help make it stick, you'll do that. So, keep that in mind, and you'll put the paper side down. Okay, so you'll have that. The next thing I have that I use is foil, and I use the foil, let me show this, I didn't show it yesterday, but I'm do it today. I'm not traveling as much, and I... I, I remember some stuff, obviously not my pie paste, but yeah. so you just kind of you brought those. take it as far as your you know, just wrap around, and this is what you're going to use later. So you just kind of measure it, and then fold it up. Ow. Let me get this going. There we go. And this is just going to cover your pie crust when you start baking it so that it doesn't brown too much. So usually I just have these and you can see I have old ones that I have. Kim, and Jennifer just, Jury wants to know if this is a different apron from last night. Yes, this is a different apron. My one last night, once I took it off, it was nasty. So I just cut these in, you know, maybe thirds or whatever. And this, then you'll wrap it around. So you'll see me use those later. Okay? Okay, so let's make the actual pie crust. And what I do, do we have the recipe there? This is the recipe that I grew up using. I don't know where my mom got it, but we've just used it forever, so that's what I go with. Um, start with one cup of shortening. And I use the Crisco 
Tabasco butter flavored. And I like it because it helps brown your crust better. You're inspiring people. I am inspiring people. I, You know, <laughs> I have saved people lives with my other YouTube <laughs> videos. Now I'm inspiring pie making. Um, use, I like to, I like this, and I just like the Crisco brand. I don't do a lot of brands when I bake and stuff, but Crisco butter flavors is what I do. One quick cup. Now, what else you can do, though, if you butcher your own hogs, Oh my which, God. We do, <laughs> which, we, which we do, this is where, and you have them, either you render the lard, or, um, I mean, you render the fat, or you have whoever's butchering that render the fat, that's your lard, it would go in substitute of Jordan. So just keep that in mind if you want to. Would you use butter then to butter flavor it? No. no It'll be bacon flavored just, apple pie. It won't, you won't taste the bacon of that. But you just, yeah. And it'll still brown. It just doesn't, you know. What is the lard part. renderer's name? Um, I don't know. We take it up to James Port to the Amish. So. <laughs> oh, no. All <laughs> lard is, is you take the fat. So if you're doing this on your own, if you want to do lard on your own, you take the fat from the pig. And there's good <laughs> fat and bad fat. But, you're going to have a puker over there. <laughs> but the Amish just use all the fat. They, they say they don't split it up. But, you know, the... Us. The Mennonites do. Yeah, no, <laughs> but you know us, us the Mormons. Us, not even that, but us, us city folk who think that we've read things and we know all. We want the special fat versus they just use all fat. You just melt it's it down, fat. and that's what makes the lard. <laughs> okay, so one tablespoon of oil, and I just use the vegetable oil. This one happens to be canola oil, whatever vegetable oil. Well, then it's not very real turkey. Yes, we are. Um, our turkey was very small compared to Thanksgiving. Well, like our turkey that we butchered yesterday, <laughs> and we dressed out. Tom was there. Um, it's only about, oh, what, 20, 22 pounds. We did a couple of years ago have a turkey that dressed out at 52 pounds. Now, that is way too big a turkey. It was ridiculous. Okay, so four tablespoons of butter. And I use real butter. Growing up, we used margarine because for some reason in the 60s and 70s, butter was a curse word. And people thought that margarine was It's a whole cotton healthy. polyester thing. Yeah, so, you know, but I don't cook with margarine or buy it at all. I, unless someone tells me that there's people coming. But you cook with <laughs> lard? But, well, lard, lard is natural. natural. Lard is natural. natural. Margarine is one molecule away from plastic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have that on the radio. It has to be cooked. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay. So, this I usually keep cold, but like I say, I travel down here from the, out in the country down to the big city of Liberty. <laughs> so, well, I brought my own one. I thought I'd have everything. So, I just chop it up. Usually, mine's a little colder than this, so it's not as warm. This thing gets up pretty big, though. And just dump it in. Did you put paper in there? No, this is the paper right there. Okay. I have this. I don't know where anything is, so I can't clean up. There should be a trash can. Right trash can right in front of me. Right oh, very, very oh, nice. See, they just redid this. It's very nice. Very nice. Oh, and it's got a recycling. recycling. Oh, that's like Matt's new place. Okay. <coughs> so you got your three different kinds of grease, basically, that you have in there. Like I have butter. And then you do a pinch of salt. This salt, um, I just took the lid off it because I can my salt. I really don't pressure can it. It's just a vacuum seal. So I have salt all down in my food square. So just add yeah, just a pinch or so. It just helps stabilize it, I guess. I don't know what it does. What? Now, I would say this, Kate, if I did the lard instead of the butter flavor this, I would put maybe a pinch of sugar. Because anytime you add sugar to something, it's going to help brown it. So like when I do my fried chicken, I always add, a, I don't know, a teaspoon or so of sugar to my flour. So it helps my chicken brown better. That's so, the secret ingredient. So you don't want to. That's what I use when I'm sun tanning. <laughs> so you don't want to do it enough where you taste it, but if you want to help brown something, just put a pinch of sugar. Okay. Paul's mom put sugar in there. So that's why. Well, she put a lot of sugar. Yeah. Okay. So, so oh, nice and we are milk. going to use milk, which my sister told me she was going to bring me buttermilk. It's in the fridge. It's in the fridge at her house. So we're going to use some milk, and I don't have my buttermilk which is listed on this recipe so i'm going to and i could not find cider vinegar here at my niece's but i found her lemon juice which also will work so if you saw me yesterday using vinegar you can also use lemon juice you're just going to add it in there to curdle curdle it and curdle the, the vinegar is cheaper that's why i don't use it at home 
So, and remember, you can use keeper. Now, someone mentioned, no. I, <laughs> someone mentioned keeper, and all I do is the keeper that I make to drink and stuff, I'll just pour it in instead of this. So, and, but you're getting, what you're getting is you're getting a milk product that has a little bite to it. So, whether it's buttermilk or you sour it or you use keeper, you just want that little tartness to go to it. It has a little bite. And you really can't taste it, per se, in your pie crust. But if you did use it, you would think something's missing. So that's why you use it. Steve's okay. mom said you could taste keeper. Steve's mom has had, no, that's my mother-in-law. No, she's had keeper pies. She didn't eat my last one from fr last Friday that I made two pecan pies. She didn't eat those pies. But she's eaten others with it. Now, do you cook with your hands? I cook with my hands. Keep that in mind. I grew up a poor white girl. We didn't have a lot of fancy You were white? Yes, I, I, I'm no longer that way. But anyway, so if you they make those, um, what are pastry cutters? We didn't have that growing up. And like I say, that can have been that expensive, but we just must have not had it ever. And so you learn to do it otherwise. So then we got money. You just didn't spend it on that. So all you're doing is mixing up the oil, the, the shortening, and the butter. And this little bit of salt. And this, for some reason, this magic combination of different things is what um, makes it flaky. And part of it is because your butter chunks don't get completely incorporated. So I would not do this. I guess you could do it with a food processor, but don't worry about getting the butter completely incorporated. Just pulse. Yeah. Don't completely process. I've never made pie crust with a food processor. Jennifer so, Jury has claimed know. that she has a pastry cutter. What do you think about that? Do you have paper? Have you yeah, that's, yeah do you I don't it? like flour, and then I add the fat. And, oh, we have one. And so, Maddie, that's okay. Too. Okay, so do you use this recipe, and you add the fat, yes. and do your flour in each time? No, all adding? the fat's going in, and then you pastry cut. She doesn't make a good pie. She made that a problem. They're right ugly, there. but they're good. <laughs> okay. okay, so you need three cups of flour. This is a half cup measuring, and this I bought... 15 years ago, 20 years ago at Kmart. It was a Martha Stewart when she first came out doing stuff. They don't make them anymore. If they did, I'd go buy more. Okay, and I'm putting in a little bit more because some of those were a little shy. Now, the flour I'm using is just your general purpose flour. And, in fact, this is the non-bleached. As you can see, it, it looks the same as the bleach, so don't buy bleached. <laughs> I, and we looked this up as to why they bleach it, and it's supposed to help the gluten. Well, in pipes, you don't want gluten anyway, and... The gluten will get there. It just needs to age or something. I know. You can look it up online and figure it out. But don't do it now. You're don't watching this. Yeah, you don't, you don't want to go away. Okay, so I'm just taking my fingers. Our crowd has left. Our crowd is getting closer. They're very into this. <laughs> I'm just taking my fingers and, as you can see, just kind of mixing this in. And what you're trying to do is get this mixed in to where it's like a meal, like a cornmeal texture, maybe a little thicker than that. And you just... Keep mixing and mixing. This is where you would use your pastry cutter if that's what you do, or if you use your food processor, you'd be pulsing it. One of the reasons I don't cook with the food processor that much and everything, that's just one more thing to wash. So much easier just to wash your hands. So we tried food processor pie crust and it was a lot harder and it was dumpy to run it as. Yeah. And as is a pie maker. She's our pie maker. She should be here doing this. Now, there are some people who say if you've got warm hands, you can't make pie crust because, like I say, you want to keep that butter cold. It helps, I don't know, keep the little globules or whatever they are cooking better. And molecules. Flaking. Yes, molecules and all that. But I have very warm hands, and I still make pie crust. Now, as, as let's see those hands of yours. They're a little skinny, scrawny, spidery thing. Yeah, good. See, she can do this really easy. Good job, Ad. <laughs> That's my niece's child, one of them, <laughs> in the audience. God. There, so. Now, so as you get this, as you can see, this is flaking really good. And then it holds kind of together, but flakes apart good. So that's a good mixture right there. In fact, I think we're done. So Shirley we're, Truth heard my voice. Shirley, how could you tell the difference between mine and Jennifer's? And she says you have a warm heart, too. <laughs> <laughs> I've got my sister here who's telling me what people are, are posting. Are you wearing an encampment t-shirt? You are. I am wearing a Boy Scout encampment t-shirt. So, and a different, like, say, apron. Okay, so <laughs> then you um, pour in your liquids. Don't use all of it, because probably you won't need that. That, ooh, I might not even need 
needed that much. <laughs> and just mix it in. Now, you are not making bread. Bread, you're going to want to knead it and really handle your mixture a lot. With pie dough or with biscuits, you don't. You want to handle it at least. No need to knead. No, thank you, Tom. No need to knead. Although, I have seen some really bad pie crust that I've had to rescue and knead it. We won't, we won't mention names. <laughs> if you'd done a better job teaching me, then I'd be better. I know. Now. She would have been. I've been making pie crust since I was 12 years old, and then I became the family pie crust maker. Like I say, I was raised poor white girl. I'm one of 12. So making pies took a while. But Judith Adams says you're coming in very clearly today. Very good. We're learning. And Charlie says that you sound alike. I know we do sound alike. Okay, so you just mix it real quick. I kind of pulled it in half. So I'm going to roll out our first pie crust. <clears throat> This is where I need that water to. Let me wash my hands. Let me wash my hands real quick. Ah, oh, that's when I wash my hands. I can't keep track of when I do it. You get all other okay. stuff. You got a messy table in here. Get I know this. I have a mess messy table, here. but that's okay. I'm not in my my kitchen, so it's. No, Aren't you? Okay. So, and I learned I have to face the camera when I talk, otherwise you can't hear it well. Um, when you wash your hands in this, use the dish soap. I hope that's dish soap. Oh, that's hand soap. Oh, dish soap people. is in the dish soap squirter. Ah, dish soap squirter. Thank you for the peanut gallery. There we go. The dish soap, you're, remember you got just grease and stuff, so it'll help cut through the dirt of that hand soap. Charlie wants to know the male commentator. That is my brother Tom from Texas. He is up here. He's crazy. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Shirley, do not encourage. Okay, make sure you have your plastic side up, your wax side up, but you can still kind of see where I had drawn that. That'll help you get your pie crust the right size. Okay, so, and as you can see, I didn't use all that water. Now, if I was making a lot of pie crust, if I had doubled or tripled this, I'd keep a lid on this so that it wouldn't dry out or put a wet cloth on it. So, Okay, so when you're rolling pie crust, when you roll rolls, you go back and forth because it doesn't matter if you're doing gluten. But pie crust, you're trying not to get those gluten bonds to so just roll in one direction. No one ever told me that either. <sighs> I don't know I where she was. This. Know you where would she not was. let me touch the pie crust. She was horrible at making pie crust when we were growing up. She would embarrass me. <clears throat> me too. <laughs> he wasn't around. He wasn't. Yes, I was. You know how much I love to cook. Yes. And bake. Yes. So just keep rolling it out. And as you can see, you can see different shades and stuff through here. That's because I've got butter in part and the oil in part. Because you're going one direction, correct? One direction. It's a, you know, sing along. Isn't there a group one direction? That's the whole joke. That's what I want to know about. Getting the joke. I just call them a band. Oh, a band. Well, they're not a, a band. band. They're a group. Thank you. You're heckled by the crowd here today. So you just keep rolling it out. If you have where you, I gotta get my glasses on. There we go. If you have like here, I can see that that's not quite to the edge. I just pull off and fill in to kind of make sure that we have a nice circle here. It won't make as much difference on this first crust because I'm gonna just do it for the. I know I went back and forth. That's okay. Oh. I should have had more flour on that part. That's I wasn't right. using that stainless steel top. That's brand new, so. It's very nice. It's nice height. Um, I do, when I roll, I use a marble roller just because it's heavy and it helps you roll that way. So the weight of it helps roll. So I always have a marble one. Okay, so you just flip this over. I don't roll it on the pin. I don't know how people do that. So you don't put it between two pieces of wax paper. No, and I used to and use wax paper up. before, you know, when I was poor. <laughs> but when I got rich, you know, as my richness is, um, I went to the freezer rack. And plus, the freezer rack was wider. Wax paper is too thin, anyway. 
As you can see, when I pull this up, you can see it kind of pulling apart because obviously I didn't have enough flour down. But you can see how it's layering, so that gives you a flakiness. Okay. Close in there, cameraman. Close in, cameraman. So Not just. Not that meaty arm. Oh, uh, you know what? Oh, you can't see it. I didn't trim my edges. Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. We'll do it as I do this. You could, I could have trimmed these edges a little on that circle. See, I didn't do it at all. That'll be okay. It'll I still work. Why you didn't do that? I don't know, because you know, I don't know what I'm doing. I mean, I know what I'm doing, but I don't know how to tell what I'm doing. Maybe that's what I should say. Okay, so push it down to make sure that it goes clear onto your. Push it real face. good. Push it real good. Push it. Uh, this uh oh, I'm no, out. no, 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 no. No singing, no dancing out of here. I'm finding the knife. Okay, so you want to cut this, and I do mine about to my knuckle, but I have short, stubby fingers, so you just do it to where you think it's going to go. This, I should have trimmed it first, as you can see, because it's pulling it, but trust me. These are the worst. How can butter knives be really bad? Just for butter. I know, but <laughs> they're not cutting. I, get, I should just be thankful she let me in her house, I guess. That's right. Be thankful for that. It's Thanksgiving. It is Thanksgiving. Okay. <clears throat> and usually I start making my pies on um, Wednesday night, but I want to make sure everyone could see how to do pie crust so that you could make your pies. Not have to use your store bought crust. Or how many types of pies are you making tonight? Uh, I've got my pecan pie that I do. I do a um, pumpkin pie, but it's a pumpkin chiffon, so it's not baked. In fact, I'd never seen a baked pumpkin pie until I went to grade school. It scared me. <laughs> I still remember Michelle Summers telling me what it was because I was like, what is this? Shout out to Michelle Shout Summers. From grade school and Nashua Elementary. So I did that. Then I've got my apple pie that I made yesterday, if you saw that disaster. The pie wasn't, but the demonstration. Um, of course, Steve's already eaten part of it. He didn't it was only it. a disaster because of the internet connection. Yeah, the internet connection. The production, and then I'm doing the a camera work. Here. Spot on. Okay, so you'll have your edges <laughs> and just turn them under, turn them towards the pie. Over there and, we're not these edges as in and you're just going to smash them in, and it gives you, it just gives you so when we're going to flute, so we don't have ugly edges. We want to flute our pies. I lack that part. We always trim them right at the edge. No, you don't trim them. Plus, this helps keep the pie from shrinking down as much too. No one tells me. If you really want to keep it shrinking from shrinking down, so you get you a good view of the other side. That, While yeah. you're doing this side, you can see the other yeah. side what it looks like. So you're just turning it in, and as you do it, I mean, you can you know get rid of the lines totally, you know, because you're working basically with play-doh here. It's grease and flour <laughs> you're working with, and this also helps you to feel to see like this is less than all this. I got a low spot here, so I can add in just a pinch right there. To kind of build it up and make it the same height and stuff. So, and this is just as you keep making pies, you will get the feel of it and do it. I'd say it's been a long time I've been making pies. So, do this. Even if you're buying your pie crust, not that I recommend that, but even if you're buying your pie crust, when you take it out and lay it in here, do this same thing and, and you can do this fluted edge and it'll look nice for it. Okay, so you get it all, you kind of fill and even it out, and then you're going to flute it. All you do is take your finger. Now, I have fat, chubby fingers, so adds your fingers are going to make it more two. of a flute. And Cal, yours are too. So mine, you just take the one finger inside and two around it, like that. And then you're just going to move this over, move it over, like that. So you're just going around, and if you this breaks a little you can just smash it down a little if it's really dry if you got too dry do you use your middle finger no i do not use my middle finger <laughs> stop it um you can always add a little water or well, no wonder it. mine i always point it and it never works point it i don't like know she goes i know like point. this and point yeah. no up and down no no one told me this no one told us <laughs> you would not let me be near you she couldn't do it she was terrible at pie making <laughs> Keep her away. As long as they go down good. There you go. As long as it tastes good, and this does taste good. Get all that butter and the chemical butter. And <laughs> nothing but deliciousness. Okay, so you just go around. Like I said, if you have a little break, you just go back and trim it up. Um, 
whatever size your finger is, that's going to be your little push in point. I guess I could use a pinky if I wanted it smaller. But why? Now, as you see, see here. You got good chubby. Your fingers are the right size because this is the second one in a row that. Well, but that's because I know how to do it. Well, this one was a little close, but I know how to shy it over and put it in. See? So you just don't know. So there you go. So Ooh. now. Ooh. Thank you, thank you. If I was going to use this as. That's not a, as fluted right there. Fix that. Oh, thank you. Goodness. If I was going <clears> to <throat> use this as a baked pie shell. Like you're going to put a pudding pie in this. You would bake this like this. Now, before you do that, you would take um, and let a Jennifer fork. Jennifer poke holes in it. Jennifer That's could poke holes. I did let her do that. Poke holes all through it. You would bake it and then take it out and then put in your filling. Now, what I do, though, is this is just an old cheap tin pie plate. You know, you get your free pack or whatever. Spray the bottom so it doesn't stick to this, even though this is pretty full of fat. Lay it down there and then put weights in it. Now, I now have ceramic pie weights because I got Where'd them from Christmas. Those? I think from someone from Texas. <laughs> yes, Tom. Thank you. <clears throat> Before this, I would just put in like rice or beans, put it in, bake like maybe 10, 15 minutes, pull this out then, and then finish baking. And then the rice and beans that I use, I just put it in a bag and put them in the freezer and save it for the next time. You so. don't even want to know how I use those ceramic pie weights. Oh, my goodness. Do you pour them directly on your pie? Yes. <laughs> okay, don't pour these No directly. wonder they smell no, bad. No, on your pie crust. First of all, you got to pick them out. Yes, no. Like no, you don't have this. <laughs> then just take a piece of foil and cut it and no, crumb it up. No, it's going to back down. Pour this on. Don't pour these or your beans or whatever directly from your pie crust. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> okay, now, also when you're baking, remember we made... Well, that's why they smell bad. It's because they're being cooked. We made these before. This is where you would pull this around and just kind of roll it until it fits and ease it on like this. And that keeps your top of your crust from baking before the rest of your pie. So what I would do if I was baking, like my pecan pie... I put my pecan pie in for 50 minutes, take this out, and then bake it for another 15. So then that would make sure that that got the proper color. So always remember that. Okay, now we're going to do a two-layer pie because I want to show you how to do lattice work. Okay, swipe it. Now that's in your pie pan. has your name on it. You get that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Kate. Now when she takes it, then it's my turn. Okay, okay. So she right has there. been known to take bowls before. I have not. That was your mother who had it for <laughs> over two years <laughs> until her, her glass bowl. My glass bowl still gone. That That's is why not I my, insist I, on etching them all. I do not have that glass bowl. She I, it it might be a man. Yeah. Who has my green lock and lock bowl? That broke. I told you that. Oh, we have so many things that just go wrong. Okay. Happy so we're going to roll this out again. Shirley said it's looking great. Oh, thank you, Shirley. And Frankie says she enjoys the second time around as well. Oh, <laughs> She'd probably enjoy it better if you'd give her some pie, too. I know it. Everyone now, I notice you're just going one direction, I'm middle out. one direction again. Uh-oh. Once again, no one tells me those things. Once again. I don't do pastry cutters. Oh, okay, you don't. I, I, I tried you. pastry cutters uh -huh. one time. She don't do pastry cutters. <laughs> I, I wasn't she uses crazy. her hands. I just use my hand, so. Tina Schaefer used the foil tip today. Okay. How did it work, Tina? <laughs> awesome, she said. Okay, good. <laughs> According to my phone, which is your phone, it says awesome. Thank you. Okay, so we're going to roll this out. Get this a little thinner. It doesn't look like it should be. And I don't do a really thick pie crust. Because no one likes it. pie crust. Well, I do, but the really, really yummy stuff is. The inside. Which is why it doesn't matter if you bought them for all those. No, things. because you still need the pie crust to hold the inside. Yeah. You still need it, but. Okay, so we'll trim this up, which I forgot to do. And this is one of the reasons you like this wax paper, this paper here, because it just spins for you. So, you don't so have the to plastic wait. side is down. No. No, the paper side. Paper side down. Paper side down. Paper side. And I suppose it really doesn't matter, but. She That's drew it. on the paper side, the paper side. It and it comes too late through. For this year, but next year you have, must remind me of these rules. Okay. I'll try it again. Okay, so this we're going to. Because the plastic side is like the wax paper side. Yeah, so basically. it was the marker 
work good. That's that's well, only plus reason. it peels off of this. If it was on the paper side, it wouldn't peel off. Yeah, if you you know how much I love to bake, Jennifer. Okay, so you try and center it, remember, pull it off. And remember this time, leave a lot left out, you know what I mean? Yes, I do need to leave a lot. Because we're gonna do a cherry pie. Like I said, yesterday we did a apple pie. So I don't need two apple pies for Thanksgiving. No one. Well, needs this is Kate's pan anyway. anyway. You ain't taking this one home. She can't, it has my name on it. Yeah. <laughs> So, oh, you're saying she can't? Yeah, oh, I can't because I, I can return it all. She can I know. return it. She knows it's mine. I know it's hers. She's not going to keep it. Uh, Kate, what did you etch those with? I um, need to do that. Let me see. What's in there? What's on there? With vinegar and milk. <laughs> you buy it at my girl. Yeah, you can go buy oh, okay. it. Mandy, I guarantee it. you Mandy has that stuff down Okay, so it's thing. not like a little Dremel or anything? No, it's, no, no, no. It's no. this. You oh, cut it out in vinyl. Ah. And then you have to make sure it's backwards because yeah. you do it through. And then you just put Well, maybe I want to read it. Way. You can do it either way. Okay. Okay, so we have our top pie. What we're going to do is. That edge cherry. looks awful. I know. It's not done. Leave me alone. So and we're going to do a cherry pie. Mine. Now, you get a bonus thing, and this is how to open pie, is open cans with the edgeless one. Because people don't like this. So you just, this is a pampered chef that my mother in law gave me because she couldn't work it. You just slap it <laughs> it's on. True. It's true. <laughs> Turn it. Until you get to where it's right there, I can fill it in. Now, to do it, all you do is rock it, and it just rocks right up. Oh, mine goes back half a crank, a bit of a crank, you can bring it up. Well, you can take it back a bit and crank it in with your hand to it, but if you rock it, it just pops it. has it. a little thing. It does have a little thing. Oh, yours has, well, this has this little, that has a yeah, little mine has that too. little thing. That, why bother with that when you can just rock it? So, fun woman, do it smarter, not harder. <laughs> our woman has in our muscles for you. I, I do have muscles oh because I baked bread all my life and stuff. So that is bread breaking. Bread breaking. Baking. Okay, so just rock it down and up. I guess I could have backed it up, but that's it. Fast, fast and easy. Back hey, that thing up there, girl. I, the next thing is. That's a lot of almond extract. This is almond extract. I always like a lot of almond extract with my. Um, they're cousins cherries. or something. They're cousins. Somehow the almond pit and the cherry are related. yeah related somehow. I don't have a. Do you have a bowl? I can mix this. Their moms are sisters. <laughs> Their moms are sisters. Now, if I and do you have some cornstarch? Because I always do. Well, just. Do you see this etched also? Oh, Superman! This is Superman's cake. That's for Shannon. <laughs> I know it's for Shannon. Do you have another? Uh, just to keep Mikey Shannon from I have off of all these things. Spoon? No, uh, another. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so I don't just pour the whole thing in there, just as it is, which I guess you can, but you can always improve on the store. And get the decent, this is another thing you need to get a decent We just one. swap Cherry it out what, what cleans to the sides, we keep ourselves. No, and no, yeah, cherry pie filling, filling cherries. Cherries. That, if you get an off-brand, you may have like two cherries in the whole thing, and that's just that. That's the truth. Yes, that. Mush. This so come half all you want. I think this is too much. I don't know. Whatever okay. you want. And I don't like okay. pies that leak all over the place. So I always choose. Sounds like a personal problem. Yeah. Yeah. So I always yeah. add just a touch of cornstarch. The peanut gallery wants to know if you preheat the oven. Uh, oh yeah, that should be going. But I'm taking this home. You're not eating this. <laughs> and this is, you know, it's a little You're bit. How are you going to make pies? Yeah, you can make it. Just maybe a teaspoon, and this also helps take up the extra water that you have a for your for this brand. Um, no, I almonds. I, 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 and I just give it a little shake. I don't do that because I don't have a little shake. You don't have, you got to, Sam's Club right now has it because they bring it in every now and then for the holidays. I need that. Baby. So you need this. I only have this. I don't know. It's this is gone. I, so, I know, this is probably, I think it's around 12 bucks at Sam's Club. Just need to get. fill it up. Yeah, here, fill it up, Kate. Do it because you, you. you stay here. I'm, you let me come in here. Okay, so just mix it up good. Um, by the way, cornstarch is something you have to have in your oh, it kitchen. It smells good in here now. It does smell good. I love almonds. Not like the rank BO from before. <laughs> okay, you'll just pour it in. Get that in. My wife's in another room. Oh, that, that, and that. <laughs> Don't ever lick this. Try and no. it's, it smells good, but don't try and, Yeah, don't, don't don't dip your finger in and no, I'm gonna taste it. No, because it won't. It smells delicious and stuff. Try and it get to burns. Work. It burns. 
Okay, so now we're going to do the lattice part. No, that's in the in the pie crust. In the crust. I put some pinches. That's because my pinch. Three. Well, it wasn't really three pinches. My pinch wasn't very good. Uh huh. Leave me alone. She likes pinch. She likes pinching. Okay, so we're gonna do the lattice, which is easy to do. I hope I have enough pie crust. Yeah, you do. I got enough. Watch out, she feathers. Do you have a I've got a butter knife. She just I was butter raised a poor white girl. We did not have all white girls. Can we go get the Play Doh toys back? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> we did not have all this kind of stuff. Now, wait. You're, it looks like you're going. I know. This is a crust. Who cares if it's a little? It's really not going to get too much glue in. But see, you can still see that. All the layers in it. Can you um, see those layers? You can see the layers. That, that camera can't do it. I'm just trying to square it up. Well, rectangular. That's enough. what she said. So, get it all out here. No more talking bad about your mother in law. She's watching. <laughs> <laughs> she just, I just said she could not um, do the, she, this. Which, by the way, my daughter can't either. So, there you go. And she's watching too. She badmouthed the last two people watching. That's what happens when they come late. Yep. Okay. So I don't have a wavy cutter. Once again, and these butter knives are the worst butter knives ever. They're only 15 years old. We got them for a wedding. Almost 16 years ago. Happy anniversary. There you go. Who'd you get them from, Kim? They're her old butter knife. And she can do it without getting a ruler out. So you just, yeah, you just do it oh, between a half and a Inch, yeah, and half an inch. Your sometimes. uncle Sam was good about straight lines as well. Yes, it's just you if you bake one, well, again, very I'm perfect. not. So our lattice work lacks in consistency. Looks more like triangles. <laughs> it's like the different plaid. It's a plaid. It's a plaid. She has a buffalo plaid. It's, that's in. rustic. Yeah. That's what they that's call that now. Definitely. Rustic look. My edges are always rustic. Yeah. Yeah. Handmade look. Charles Joy Sheffield says your mom was the best. There you go. She had these recipes. Yeah, we don't. No, you're all right. cut yeah. Yes, yes. Oh, that's a little thinner than the other. See, I can even tell by looking. Okay. So. Here you go, girls. Get in here and check this out. Start with. Now is this? Pieces. What is this? This is lattice, not lattice. Quit saying that. <laughs> <laughs> and go ahead <laughs> and put some space between it. Um, if you're doing just a whole sheet, like if I didn't cut that and just laid it on top, I would have to cut holes in it because you have to vent it. So you always have to have holes in your pie crust. Top crust. Top crust, yeah, to vent. <coughs> you want to vent it. I already did my apple today, only I don't put holes in it. I cut out little tiny. When I lack right. the edges and looks of the pie, I have little tiny cookie cutters that cut out apple shapes. Yes, so you can do that. Good. But I do lack in the edges and everything else. This is where we were having a lot of technical problems last night. That is. Okay, so you've got your one side going. I guess you can do it up and down. It doesn't matter which way. You're going to start the last. So you go every other one, pull it back. Oh, okay. That's a little thing. Every other one, just pull back. Look at this one because I looked at it. Callie pulled it out to me. Lay it down. And put it back. You have enough. Oh, there's more no. strips over there. Well, I gotta make more. I'll use my edge, my edge brush. Okay. So then, this is over. So your our next one's under over here, and this is you just have to remember over, under, over, under, over, under. This is where it comes in. Oh, phew. I didn't have enough. Let's go back to the short one. People are commenting about how well your connection is today. Thank you. I, you know, I live out in the country. Do you? Yeah, we have satellite internet. That tells you, I know you see it on the is commercials it? for how great it is. No, not so much. But then I got to looking today. I have an American flag that flies right in front of that. I wonder if it's the flag. Because <laughs> it's only on certain days. And it's when the wind changes because we have a storm coming in. So maybe it's not the storm so much. It's the flag. So I got to take that flag down. Well, move it, not take it down. Wait. But, um, <laughs> and see if that will help. 
Okay, let's get this down a little more. Let's put it here before we roll. Okay, so this is over, I mean, under. Gotcha. Yes. <laughs> no. Pressure's on. Yes. I know, this no. is the worst part, is remembering over. And you can always Ads can do that like a champ. It's the edging she lacks. <coughs> and that okay. one direction type of deal. Never heard it in my life. <laughs> and we need to go under. Underwear. Underwear, Callie. Yeah. <laughs> underwear. You didn't lift up that edge, but I guess well, you that, don't need that, to. Yeah, that edge. When you get to the, when the, they're like that, you won't need to worry about them because when you fold in. Okay, so I got to get a little more scattered some of these excess pieces and roll out so I can fit more stuff there. Stop it. <laughs> What I do? Oh my gosh! Oh my Sorry. Oh, it's all over me. Oh no! I'm gonna have Tyler, to go shirtless. Tyler, but he was safe because you it was not it. the sharp kind, right? Kate? It was not the sharp kind. So Here. he was safe. Get her rolling it out. Now, as you see, I have left Tyler this today to work with than yesterday. So when my pie crust will thicker or something, who knows? That's okay. I'm getting close in. Here. Have you taken over filming? Yeah. Because those people are figuring what, trying to get Tom's shirt cleaned up. He got the lid from the cherry pie that he flipped on him. On his belly. On his belly. Okay. Why can you figure out and do a straight one without I don't know. getting this a is, ruler out? This is why it drives me nuts when people go, oh, I think it's how many inches. I'm like, no, it's not. <laughs> people are nitwits. But I don't, I, for some reason, I'm visual like Not that. the people watching. It. No, oh, not yes. the people watching. Of course not them. Okay. So every other, just going back. And you can put these closer if you want. Can I go farther? They can go, well, if you go farther, you kind of lose the fact you're doing lattice work. More you, like a checker board. Yeah. You can go closer. I just make a tic tac toe sign on mine. Yeah, you can do that. <laughs> tic tac toe. <laughs> but, two, two each way, done. <laughs> like I say, or you can do a whole pie and cut out little shapes out of it, but just make sure you're um, get venting it good. Wonderful. I can't wait to see how she does this. <laughs> well, I gotta remember which crowd go here. I just need a little short one here. Alright. And with your leftover pie crust, what we always do, you roll it out, put cinnamon sugar on it, bake it, and eat it. Nothing Addie better than sugar wrong. and fat. Sugar and fat. Okay. Addie eats it raw so, and dips it in the cherry leftover can. You can do that. We're gonna turn this over, but remember, and I'm gonna use this knife. Um, yeah, yeah, this is my knife that I bought. Just trim it to where, and like I say, I've got, it's, I just know where my finger and how long it is, and that's what I base off, and I'm touching it, top rim of this it smells pan. wonderful. It does. I have. See how long, see that's a lot. My pies that. used to be soggy napkins and dirt on me, but when <laughs> I started using cherry pie filling, they turned out great. What? Stop it. <laughs> don't listen to him. I don't know what he's muttering about over there. Let's get that. Let's see. Now, this kind of pie pan has a little... Um, it's pretty. Fluted edge. No, it has handle. a little handle, so oh. make sure when you're going around, you're like, oh, that's what that is. See, it's right here. Let me feel it. Cut it. And basically, you're coming out as far as the handle about. Okay. Wait, God, I'll pop out of that. Okay. Oh, wrong! Uh, okay, to it's help just this, grease because one of the things you've done it, since you've done two things is it's kind of sat. So if you want to just go around and either do it with water or whatever milk you have left over, this is just going to help glue it all together as you flip it in. Because this is kind of dried out as it sits there. Are you slipping in? Isn't this a beautiful countertop? It is. I love this counter. You did an excellent job. 
We've already mentioned that, Kathy. Ooh, a lot of Turn love signs. Okay, the cat. She's so, never so you're going to do the same thing with the fluted edge as we did before, and you just kind of roll all that stuff and see if that's why you want that mm. extra liquid there. To help. There's lots of hearts working. Don't yeah. eat it raw. Jennifer <laughs> Jury said it might be why you have short, stubby fingers with that knife deal. <laughs> Jennifer Jury's sitting here. <laughs> but she doesn't want to be on camera. I've said it, so I have said it. I've got short, that's just my fingers. They're just short. Maggie Williams, they got it says pie perfection. It is. It matches my toes, my short, stubby toes. <laughs> she never really admit that. I know, and she thinks They're her perfect. toes are good. No, they are good. That's what they are. She Can't climb hard. a tree, but can go up the side of a mountain like a goat. Yes. <laughs> Of my goat is looking like any day now she's going to give birth. That's exciting. So it's going to be exciting. It'll be a Christmas goat. And those of you about the kefir, um, sometimes it, it, when I'm milking my goat, I do make it out of the goat milk, the kefir. But otherwise, I just use whatever store bought milk I have. Were you raised on a farm? No, I was not. Jennifer, raised people want to see you. I was raised in a zoo. No, she's refusing. What? Here, you can show me. I'll stand behind. <laughs> My sister Jennifer, she's my older sister. You're back off. What, 14 months? <laughs> As I said, we come from big family. We're all close together. Okay, so you flipped it over like we did before, and so you're just going to do the same thing, going around. Have you ever counted? Look at no. That. Five, I know, six, that's the deal. I think my fingers seven, are too long. Well, just use the tip of them. Eight, <laughs> no. nine. See now how that broke. I don't like that, so I just kind of smush it together and would you make get it look more nice. fluid on it? Milk maybe would that help or no? But I'm that's why I put it back it together. Underneath. Yeah, oh, okay. just kind of push it back together. It's made out of grease. It'll be fine. Now, are your hands warm? Would you say that my hands are, are they very warm? warm? People come up to me all the time, little old ladies, and hold my hand because they're freezing. And mine, I am constantly. So do you think that helps with the pine? No, it should. It, it should not. In fact, it should work against it. I just have the gift. I was just born that way. <laughs> just how God made me, as Mallory, my granddaughter, would say. That's just how God made me. <laughs> I thought Lady Gaga said something. There's a song called know. Born it This Way. Or... I don't know. So, Christina Aguilera. Oh, lady. We don't know. Beautiful. There you go. See, that, see how that was up high? I didn't like that, so I yes. just kind of tap it down, make okay. it look good. Callie, you getting this? Mm -hmm. This makes no difference how many I'm making, this Callie. Like, She's counting. Let me do a thumb. Because you guys have oh, skinny okay. tips. Yeah, or maybe your knuckle. Like, I don't so you know. Mean stubby tip yeah. like well, this. yours would just have more. Or knuckle under. So, see, in the last one, you kind of always cheated into that next one. So 39. 39 loops. So there you go. So how I would bake this, um, since the cherry's already cooked, I would probably just... Would you egg wash? No, I, I don't egg wash. That's why I have this. You don't have to egg wash. Why well, I have the, short, the butter right. shorty. Um, I would probably cover it actually with a whole piece of foil for maybe 20 minutes, take it off, and then just put a my circle one around for another. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. 15. Wait. A whole piece of foil? A, a, you know, a square piece of foil. A big one just for to get it cooking. Okay. And I then, just put the pie in the oven. Call it a day. And then she. Well, that way is what it is. The edges are ugly anyway. <laughs> but that way your edges don't get too much. So I would take. Gosh, what's that? You know, just this, and when I take it on, <laughs> the cutter is on the top. <laughs> they keep changing it on me. They keep changing it. It's been that way for 50 years. They keep changing it. Is it? So there you go. So you keep changing brands. Because you want the steam to come out. You don't want Terry wants to know, do you sugar the top of your pies? No. I have because mine need all the help they can That's get. That's because if you're sugaring and stuff, yeah, I'll look. I got a hair on my mouth. Sure, it's right it's she covered the pie. <laughs> um, it's because it's not brownie. That helps to get a color. But if you're doing, you know, using the butter and stuff, it's going to be fine. Um, so I would do that maybe 20 minutes, take it off. And depending on, because this cherry's already. <laughs> Put Come the on. cover back on, please. Um, okay with that. This cherry's already cooked. Now, my apples from yesterday, since they were raw apples, take much longer to cook. So I keep it covered longer and then do the edge. This one, maybe this for 20 minutes and then just let it go open for, I don't know, how long is it? It's already cooked, basically. Just so the pie crust looks good. 
and then pull it out. You're basically you know, heating the filling yeah, and you know, cooking the crust. Put in the oven and then go down and sew and forget about yes. it. Yes, no <laughs> the apple pie. <laughs> my apple pie is <laughs> very well done. Since it was fresh, <laughs> yeah, it smells good. You could have got it out of the oven. Since my apple was fresh last night, it took over an hour to cook. So I would, you definitely have to protect the crust. This is already cooked stuff. You're just heating it up and you know getting it going. Cooking the crust, right? So there you go. You should. Wear you guys a just pie <laughs> yes. <laughs> Follow these directions. You two can be making pies that taste delicious and look delicious. Have a happy Thanksgiving.